A new poll shows that Barack Obama's approval rating by American soldiers has tanked. In fact, his approval levels have sunk so low that even Russia's President Putin enjoys higher approval ratings from millions of Americans, and many of them are soldiers. So just how low did Obama go? When first sworn into office in 2008, 40% of soldiers disapproved of Obama and 35% of soldiers approved of him. So starting in a deficit, Obama needed to bond with soldiers in order to win their favor. But that never happened. In a poll released by Military Times Magazine in January of 2015, Obama's popularity has dropped to a mere 15%, with a disapproval rating of 55%. That's nearly four times more soldiers disapproving Obama than approving of him. Now that's remarkable since the military rank and file is largely African American. So with having what appears to be the lowest marks of any president in US history, you might think he had no lasting impact on the military. Sadly, that's not true. Military Times reported, quote, As Commander-in-Chief, Obama will leave behind a legacy that will shape the Pentagon's personal policies and their social customs of rank-and-file soldiers for decades to come. Despite the unpopular military cultural changes Obama sought to inflict on our fighting men and women in uniform when he first took office, his relentless ramriding of unthinkable changes to the military did, in fact, go into effect. But how? By popular vote? Hardly, since the military is more of a dictatorship than a democracy. So, as Commander-in-Chief, Obama was able to make sweeping changes to century-long conservative military traditions that he so loathed. Military Times Magazine wrote that Obama uses, quote, heavy-handed social engineering that erode deep-seated traditions and potentially undermine good order and discipline, unquote. Included was Obama favoring homosexuals in the military and changes in how sexual harassment claims were handled. In short, Obama's ultra-liberal feminizing of the military was not received well by soldiers who signed up to put their lives on the line to fight for the country and not have to walk on eggshells out of fear of being court-martialed for accidentally offending a homosexual soldier. You see, in Obama's military, a soldier has to learn the fine art of politely turning down gay sexual advances so they are not deemed as a hater. Scores of soldiers have responded to Obama's military changes by voting with their feet. Others were drawn to the new liberal military environment and have enlisted. The question is, will Obama's rainbow military stand the test of time? Or will a future commander-in-chief revert the military to the conservative institution it had been for over 200 years?